I don't know why I did it. To fit in, I guess? But when we got caught, it got very real, very fast. I'd never been arrested before. Never been to jail. Never been in court. I was so scared. Andre's story isn't new. It's been repeated thousands of times in police stations and courtrooms across Canada. And every time it happens, young people and their families get trapped in a system that only has one answer. But there is an alternative. When I got to the police station that night, he looked so scared. I just wanted to tell him that everything was going to be okay. But it wasn't, and we both knew it. I was hoping he would just get a warning, but the lawyer kept saying that wasn't likely to happen for us. Then he started talking about something called restorative justice. I didn't know what that was, but it sounded like the one thing we all needed at that moment. It sounded like hope. Restorative justice works to repair relationships. It brings everyone involved in the conflict together to address the harm that was caused and find a solution that works for everyone. This can include the victim, the young offender, and the community. This approach is inspired by Indigenous worldviews and legal traditions that have been practiced for thousands of years and continue today. Some well-known examples include conferences or circle work, such as talking or healing circles. Restorative justice is about coming to a resolution, not just punishing people. The goal is to repair relationships and find a positive way forward for all parties. I mentioned restorative justice as a possible alternative for Andre because I knew he was a good kid who made a bad decision. He didn't need punishment. He needed an opportunity to face up to what he did. Restorative justice can take place at various points in the justice process. In fact, the Youth Criminal Justice Act encourages police and courts to divert young people from the system through the use of extrajudicial measures and extrajudicial sanctions. Restorative justice can also be used in sentencing or to help reintegration. Many courts recognize that restorative justice is a better way of addressing youth conflict and crime. Although the Crown and police officially divert youth, anyone can recommend it, including lawyers and family. But restorative justice is not a get-out-of-jail-free card. When my lawyer told me about restorative justice, I thought it sounded easy, but it wasn't. When you come face to face with the people you wronged in your community and hear how what you did hurt them, man, it's hard. Restorative justice programs are available in communities across Ontario. If not available in your community, Ask your lawyer if it's possible to set something up with a community agency for your case. For more information on restorative justice practices, please visit PeaceBuilder's website. Restorative justice gave me hope. Gave me a second chance.